everyone. Thanks for stopping in today. I have another Stitch Fix box here. They've been like whipping these out quick this um, past month. Here I have, I'll give you a little bit of information. I have my prepaid USPS envelope to send back anything I don't um, want to keep. I have my envelope with my um, invoice in it right here. And this is Stitch Fix 69. And then my card here, which is like what's inside and my stylus note that comes in every single box. This is for women, men, and kids. $20 styling fee per box. It's a user lose, use or lose uh, fee. Keep one item from your box. It's a credit. Send all five items back. It becomes a styling fee and you lose it. Buy what you love. Send back what you don't. Um, you have three days to decide what you're keeping, what you're um, sending back. You can always go in and extend it in the checkout area. Just It says extend, extend my return date, which I always do. Uh, keep all five items, receive a 25% discount. Like I said, you check out online. They have a style shuffle every 24 hours on their website. And I'm sure it's on their app too. I just don't use the app um, where you can go through four or five, six categories and you know, thumbs up, thumbs down items for, you know, style, color, shape, you know, like all that kind of stuff. And it's A to Z. This is a very inclusive box of products. So I already undid everything because I was just going to go straight to try on, but I don't have time today. So I figured I would at least get this portion done and I'm, I might be able to come back later, but I don't know. So real fast, let's do the first thing that's in here. And this is from... Um, Letty and me, the uh, Liana Pointel cardigan in black, a size medium. I haven't looked at anything. So you can see the Pointel work. You know, long sleeve cardigan. Oops, I don't want that to catch. You know, open front. No, you know, no closure option. Uh, I don't know if there's pockets or not. We'll find out. Yeah, where's your... No pockets, which is fine. Um... Not bad. Well, it depends on the price. Let me just put you back here. Okay, the next item is from Sanctuary. This is going to be expensive. Um, Holly flannel, relaxed button down top, black size medium. I just am not, it's like hit or miss with me. These are, I think these need to be petite uh, just because these are always too big. This one's not bad. It's like an oversized and it's your typical, you know, shirt hem. You know, like a men's shirt hem, long sleeve, things like that. You know, with your buttons, cute, cute, straight, you know, straight back. Like these would be great in the winter. Um, they would be great even in the spring, in the fall. You know, you, like you have a tank or a t-shirt on and you can use this as like a little outer um, jacket. That is the material that, like the other one that I got was more like a, like a brushed, like fleecy type where was it be a little warmer this just feels like a regular shirt type thing so I don't know about that one but like with leggings and stuff like that this next top is from pink clover um Olea shoulder button detail sweater olive size medium mm, I don't know what I think about that the buttons are okay I, they might be too big I don't know we'll have to see it does have detail in it right there, you know, long sleeve ribbing. Um, pretty much, eh, it's a little bit of a curved bottom. But that's not bad. Lightweight. It's not heavy. I love olive. Let's see what the next thing is. Uh oh, where's the tag? Oh, it's inside. From Chaser M M Mella, right? M E L A, Mella. Long sleeve. I guess this is a top. Yeah. Black medium. What are we? Lightweight top. Just has some give to it. Some stretch. Long sleeve. Straight back. Oh, what's this? In the front. It's like a, almost like a cow neck in the front. Like that type of style where you would fix it and drape it nice. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll have to try that on and see. I do I need a nice gray top, like a darker gray like that to wear with a pair of like grayish gray tones, like animal print um, jeans and everything else that I have that's in a gray tone is, is 
not dark enough. Like I need a dark, dark color like that, but I don't know if that is the one. And then it looks like we have a pair of jeans here. Who are you from? Can Can, I, I've heard of them. I think I've gotten things from them before. Um, Melania Mid-Rise Colored Skinny Jean, Olive Size 10. I definitely think the 10s are gonna to be too big. Um, I think the eights are what I'm gonna be needing. So this is them. There is some stretch five pocket zipper button fly full pockets good pockets and these are true skinny i love the color for the fall and the winter i just think these might need to be an eight i don't yeah see it's a size 10 with a 30 inch waist that's just not not going i think it's going to be too big and this is poly cotton poly spandex they're beautiful though i love the color you know with and I wouldn't do olive on olive, but I've seen people do that, and it looks very nice. But I want to see, like, and this is the last item. I want to see if I have time in the next, it's almost 6 o'clock, which is not late, but I have things I need to do. So I might see if I can come back um, in a little bit and maybe do the try-on. This way I can be done. This is the last of the boxes. If This is coming out in the beginning of September, but it's the end of August for me. Let me put this away real fast i just wanted to chat with all of you um i did a members only uh video for my members so that they are aware of what has been going on in my life this past um month or so um we had a death in the family um of a young person in our family which was uh, like such a shock to everyone's system and you know I, we're all still in shock and disbelief and you know grieving horribly and i have not filmed uh, i think i filmed one quick video in the last month i am was so grateful that i had all these videos pre-filmed i had to edit some of them but i had so much pre-filmed and i was just like oh thank you because i would not have been able to film there's just no way i could barely get through the video for my members when i filmed that um so that has like thrown us all um out of whack um you know she was only 28 and uh, she was my niece and uh, you know I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't want to don't want to cry again uh, I've been trying I mean there's nothing wrong with crying but I have so much to do I just cannot get myself overwhelmed and upset right this moment um, you know she's a beautiful girl beautiful kind kind-hearted kind soul and um, she's a great loss to our family to her friends especially to her parents my sister what is her mother and she's devastated so i have been trying to spend time with my sister to make sure i keep in communication with her so that i can do my best as the big sister to just to, to try to help her the best i can i don't know unless you are a mom that has lost a child none of us know what it's like uh, I can guess, but that's all I can do. I know her pain is probably a million times worse than mine. Um, so it's just, you know, my mom, after the shock of all of it, my mom wound up in the hospital for three days because she just, my mom's 93. She just couldn't handle it. Uh, you know, she was having chest pains. Her blood pressure was so high. It was like stroke level high. And I was like, oh, I can't. And it was just too much. And I was staying strong for my sister and her family. And after the service and everything was over and I was home for a few days, I was finally able to start my own grieving process, which is taking me a long time. Um, so I just wanted all of you to know a lot of comments uh, for a while. Um, I was reading them and I was just hearting them. I was not responding. And you still might see some days where I do that because I'm just not physically able, um, having a bad day or I am with my sister that day. Um, you know, my sister just had a birthday and that was a rough day for her. So I spent the day with her, you know, for about five or six hours, something like that, just to, you know, try to help her a little bit and just like talk about nonsense stuff just to try to keep her mind. I know her mind is constantly there, but just, um, you know, I got a few chuckles out of her at least and things like that just to try to, you know, to help her the best that I know how. You know, I'm sure I'm not doing everything perfectly, but I'm trying. And she knows that. 
and um, you know everyone in our entire family misses my niece you know her older sister misses her terribly she's struggling she lives out of state so it's not as easy for her like if she wants to go to the cemetery or if she wants to be with her mom she can't you know her and her husband live out of state they're scientists you know they're very, very busy work schedules and very busy careers but um you know they try their best and uh you know i just ask for prayers if you don't mind especially especially for my sister she is struggling um horribly and you know we can only do what we can do to help her we try to you know surround her the first couple weeks were tough because she pushed everybody away she didn't want to see anybody didn't want to talk to anyone and i get it but that's not the answer so she realized that and then started bringing people back in and talking to people and responding and to text and to things post in our family you know private group on facebook and stuff like that so um you know just keep the comments to a minimum here because my sister does watch my channel um and seeing too many comments uh, will upset her for sure so you can you don't have to comment anything about it and um just know that life is tough right now i'm doing my best and uh you will always have a video i will plan them out if i have to film in the middle of the night because i can't sleep uh you know that's fine sleeping and eating is optional right now because nobody has an appetite nobody you know we're all exhausted but nobody can sleep it just weighs heavy on your mind so if you've been through something like this you totally understand i know one of you who is a channel member did tell me that they have experienced um sadly the same thing with a nephew who was young so she understands what it's like you know i'm the aunt she's the aunt so it just i mean if i wasn't close to her it still would hurt because they're still family but i was closer to her and it's just you know still hard to believe that we're just never going to see her again here while we're here on this earth and that's you know i think that is the most difficult thing I don't even think we've fully even gotten into grief. We're still all just in shock, denial, whatever it's called. It's just too new. It's only been a couple weeks. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm trying my best. So please support the channel in any way you can. Um, watch the videos. Watch them in full. I beg, beg, beg you. If you do not have time to sit down and watch a video, just don't watch it today, and if you have time tomorrow, watch it tomorrow. I don't care if you miss a video or two. Now, I know some of you do because you want to use the hashtag Unbox the Playlist. I get it. Going into a video, letting it run for 30, 40 seconds so that you can put your generic comment there and do the hashtag hurts me, does not help me, and unfortunately doesn't get you an entry into the uh, mystery box each month for the unbox it uh, hashtag unbox it playlist i see it happening way too much um you know 10 15 comments in a row i know people can watch it like one and a half speed two speed three speed and that doesn't necessarily hurt me by you doing that but 10 12 15 comments in a row every two three minutes gives it away that there's no way that you're able to um truly support the channel doing that and you're coming in and doing that and watching 15 different videos so you can be entered in the hashtag unbox a playlist well i'm going to stop including those who enter like that not like i said you don't have to watch every day you don't have to watch every video i mean you know one video gets randomly picked but, you know, I have to draw the line because it's getting out of hand. I mean, my watch time in the last 30 days went down by over two minutes. And that's because people are coming in, quickly grabbing, oh, what is she talking about? And making a comment about the first item, hashtag unbox a playlist, and out they go. Because it's the only way that the watch time can drop like that. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to start changing I'm rethinking and rewriting the rules for the hashtag unbox the playlist, and that's going to be one of them. Um, I think to be an active subscriber is not to come in one day a month and watch 10 videos that I see you commenting every two, three, four, or five minutes. And I, like I said, I understand you can watch it at a faster speed and get through it a, 
but for me personally, even watching it at the fastest speed, a 30 minute video, you can't watch in two minutes. It's impossible. So I know people say, I watch the whole video. I watch from start to finish. Well, you know, I don't know about that. So I'm not calling anyone a liar or anything like that. I just don't know how it's humanly possible. So my rules will be changing for the, for the mystery box of makeup and skincare and um, no exceptions. Um, on any giveaway win, please open the description box and see what you are required to do in order to claim the giveaway. I have stated it's in my rules in my description box when I have a winner's video. You are not allowed to DM, DM me on Instagram to try to claim your giveaway. That's not where you're supposed to do that. And I ignore those. I might look at them because I'm looking at other DMs. I might like it, but you're never going to get a response from me. And um, you always, always, always have to use the email in the description box to let me know that you are the winner with your address and all that good stuff. Instagram does not is not the way to get a hold of me. And people that have been here for a long time know that. And it's in my description box of every single winner's video. It might even be in the rules. I'm not sure. I will double check that. But I'm going to be spending some time going over those and taking care of that so I can stop people from just coming in one day a month, watching a whole bunch of videos and thinking they're good. Well, you know, that's fine if that's what you're doing. But when you're commenting every two minutes, it's impossible even at the fastest speed to watch 20, 30 minute videos and comment. So um, my rules are definitely changing when it comes to that one. And uh, so let me see what I can do about coming back with the try on. And for you, it'll just be a, a second and probably me a couple hours. So see you in just a moment. First up I have one is from Chaser, the Mella Cal Neck Knit Top. Dark gray, medium, $44. That's not horrible. I have to fix this a little bit better, but I just like quickly did it. And this is kind of cute. For now, like in the winter time, having all this skin open, that's like open right down to the top of my bra, might be a little bit much. Like if it was up a little higher, like I don't mind a cow neck. Um, this might be too low. Like it might be kind of chilly, drafty. It's not bad material-wise. Sleeve length. I mean, the fit is... Um, like a perfect fit, I probably, this is a medium, I would probably want the large just for a little bit more comfortability for me. The length is not bad. It's slightly longer in the back, as you can see. It's not bad. It's comfortable. It's lightweight and all that kind of stuff and would keep you, like, I don't know if I would wear this in the dead of winter because it is lightweight, but spring, fall, this would be cute, which, you know, like, I don't want to have to have something on underneath just to cover skin like it would be too chilly I think but if I were to keep something like this I would probably go up to the large but then I'd be afraid this might be too much I don't know I do like it though it's not not horrible so next I'm going to try on this top here pink clover um Olea shoulder button detail sweater olive size medium so I shall return and try this on Next up is Pink Clover Olea Shoulder Button Detail Sweater. Uh, olive Medium, $46. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't mind the buttons. I thought I would they would be too much, but I think they're just right. Everything fits perfectly at the shoulder. Like, everything's cut nice. Sleeve length is not too, too long. I mean, slightly, if I was worried about it. If you're, you know, shorter arms than I do, which I don't know if that's possible. You could cuff it. I, I don't find it necessary because it's not that long. I love the detail in the sweater. Like all the lineage is fine because it's tonal. There is a slight curve, slightly longer than I would not wear this with shorts right here. But with leggings, it comes down long enough to, you know, to cover everything that you want to cover when you're wearing leggings. Um, I like it. I love the color it's comfortable it's soft it's not over like overly hot it's like right above like collarbone but it is very comfy and the price is not horrible for stitch fix i have tags sticking me everywhere 
Um, next, I'm going to try on this, which is Sanctuary Holly Flannel Relax Button Down Top, Black Medium. I have a feeling from just looking at this again, this is going to be way too big and way too long. I mean, <clears throat> I can already see it, but we'll give this a try and see what I think. I have the Sanctuary Holly Flannel Relax Button Down Top. Black medium, $46.97. I thought that would be a little bit more expensive. This is a no. I don't mind the up to like here. This is fine. I mean, I slipped it right over my head. I didn't, it's only like one, one button or two buttons. I think just one, two buttons. But this up here fits fine. The shoulders are good. The fit here is good. There's no tug. Up Probably about up to waist is fine. It's just number one, the sleeves are too long and just too, not even like a little too much. Like this needs to be like a little snugger at the wrist in order for it to fit properly. Um, and just way too long. I don't even know if you guys can see the true, true length of this. Too long, like I would almost forget the shirt tail hem stitch fix. Give me a straight hem. And then if it fell at the top of my legs, I could wear it with jeans. I could wear it with leggings, but this is just swallowing me up. It's too big. It's just too, and the actual sizing is not horrible. Because if you want a comfy lounge type shirt, I don't want it to be snug if I'm going to be laying around in leggings and put this on. I want to be comfy. So a little bit looser is fine, but I don't, I think, I don't think I can do the shirt tail hem. I think I need to do a straight bottom hem. Um, and I think this, these types tops, if you're going to send them to me, which I like them, I, I would love to buy one, need to be a petite for sure. Like a medium petite, sometimes maybe even a small because, you know, sometimes in like this is like the upper arm's not bad. Like here's even not bad. It's this, like if this was slightly snugger, it automatically like holds the shirt where it should be, which is above your hand. And then if it's slightly baggy in the arm, it, you don't notice it as much. But when you do this and it falls down and practically covers your whole hand, like a little tiny bit of my finger, like literally my nails are out. It's just not right. But if it, like I said, if it was snug here, when you put your hand down, it won't be able to do that because it can't get past your hand. So this is, the, I don't mind the white, the little bit of like, it's like a goldy bronze color, the, you know, the black, obviously cute but just this one's not for me either so next i think i'll put i just need to get in front of the mirror so i can see this what is all like there's hairs on this it's kind of gross but i will put this on top of this top and i will be right back and let's see what we think about the cardigan i have the cardigan on from letty and me and this is the liana pointel cardigan in black size medium $48. That's not horrible at all. I like it. Um, I needed a black cardigan uh, for my niece's funeral. I did have one, but it was not new or newer. I've had it for a long time. Worked out fine, you know, which is, but I wanted something, I think I wanted something for that day a little dressier. Did not have time to go, you know, purchase anything or anything like that. Where I think something like this might be dressier. You know, um, if I had a blouse on with a collar, I would always put the collar on the outside and bring this, you know, the cardigan underneath of that. Fits nicely. There's no closure. It would just stay open. I think I prefer pockets in my cardigan. Um, that's just me personally, but here's the length. I mean, it's a wonderful cardigan. Um, I'm going to think about it, um, but like I said, I prefer pockets on my cardigans. I don't think I have, I think I have one that came from Stitch Fix that doesn't have pockets and I find I don't wear it as often. So, um, but this is kind of nice. The sleeves are a little long, but I think, you know, you just like zhuzh them up a little bit. I think it would be fine. Uh, nobody would notice that, but nice cardigan if you need a cardigan. And the only thing left are the jeans from Can Can. So I'll be back with these. I have the jeans on from Can Can, uh, Milani and Midrise colored skinny jean, olive size 10, $58, pretty standard for jeans. So right now I'm 
just move this stuff over. Um, I full size, like I can get almost all of my hand in, so like above my knuckles, which is not bad. I don't think too many companies do like full pockets. You know, button fly zip, fine. You know, here's the back, nice back pockets. Um, the top is a little bit loose for me that these will stretch. Um, so these would have to be an eight. The tens just seem like they're just too big in the waist. And when I wear them in a couple of hours, they're going to be falling, slipping. I'm going to be constantly hiking them up. I can't do that. I left this top on and just rolled it so you could see the pants. The legs are fine at this size, but I think the eight would be better even for the legs because they're going to get baggy, you know, wearing them after a couple hours. I don't know about you. I like to wear jeans more than once before I launder them. They just would be so baggy and so loose. Um, you know, they look like they're fine now. I mean, they're a little, little, they are at this size, but in order for me to keep these, which I love them, they're the perfect length. Let me show you. Perfect length right here. Can't lift my leg too high. Um, and they're comfortable. They're not super heavy denim. But I do think that the eight would be better if I, and I don't have just a plain um, olive pair of denim, and I would love them. Still, I'm on the hunt for a good dark gray. See, like they're, I haven't now had these on, but maybe 10 minutes, and I'm already starting to pull them up. They will, and I don't want to wear a belt. I have belts. I just don't want to wear a belt. I just want them to fit. I definitely think an eight would still fit. Now, the first time I wear them, are they going to be a little snug? Yeah, in an hour, they're not going to be. I mean, that happens with anything with stretch. But I do like these and would get tons and tons of wear out of these. Um, so I'm thinking about keeping these or exchanging them, getting a size 8. And if I don't like the 8, if it's way too tight, because sometimes then in a skinny jean, it gets way too tight and it's uncomfortable. Um, so I could exchange them, get the 8. If I don't like them, just send that back and get my money back. You know, when you exchange, you have to, you're technically purchasing them for a smaller size. You have to pay for them. They ship you the, the smaller size or larger size, depending on what you need to do. And then when you receive it, if it's still not right, it doesn't fit. It's still too big. It's now it's too small. You need it to be in the in-between. I think personally for me, a lot of the tens are too big. A lot of eights fit, depending on the way they cut them. I could wear a nine. You know, where are you going to find a nine? They used to have a store back in my day. I don't even know if it still exists, like five, seven, and nine. Because some people are at that in between. You're not a four, six, or eight. Five, seven, and nine fits perfectly. I think if I could find a nine, a true nine, perfect. You just can't. I mean, I could try looking online, but I don't even know if stores like that exist anymore. It was in the mall years ago. I don't even know if it's still there. I don't go to the mall anymore. Um... So I think that would be perfect for me. Um, so I might, I am considering these just because these would be great for the fall and the winter time and even into the early spring when it's still chilly and I would wear these once a week. I really would. They're that comfy and they've only been on, you know, like I said, five, 10 minutes, but length is perfect and I don't have anything this color for the bottom. I have some that are like khaki-ish and like the little bit of olive with something else, but just not a solid pair of olive jeans. So let me get back into my own clothes and I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, I have the same stylist. I read my stylist note, Sarah. <clears throat> I've had the last box or so. Um, let's do some box totals before we move on. Uh, stylist picks, subtotal 242.97. By all discount of 25%, I would save $60.74, and my box total would be $182.23. I do have the style pass, so I do not pay a style fee. This is fix number 69. If you've made it this far in the video, I would love for you to leave me any fall emoji that you would like. This way, I know that you are watching till the end. So, my thoughts. Um, I like these jeans very much. They're very comfy. They would have to be exchanged for an eight. I have not changed my size profile because, but I think I'm going to for the next box because the tens are just too big in the waist. They start to drop. I don't like it. So I'm going to try to change it to an eight and 
hope that the, any bottoms I get, because they would be like joggers or sweatpants or jeans because we're coming into fall time. Um, hopefully they're fine. And if not, I can always switch it back. That's not a big deal. So I'm considering keeping them and exchanging them for size. This top is a no. I don't mind the print of it. I just don't think a shirt tail hem for me, only being five foot one, is going to work. It would need to be a straight bottom hem um, and be in a petite or a petite short or one of those types. But this I actually do like, but just it's just too big in the arms, too long, and it's just too long in the body. I do like the cardigan. I just don't know if I'm crazy about the pointel because that's going to snag on everything. You know, if you have jewelry on, it's going to get caught and then you're going to ruin it. And I do prefer pockets. So this is probably a no, but I'm not 100% right now. I did like this top. Tell me what you thought. I think this would be great with leggings. I probably would never wear this with jeans because it's too long. But with leggings, black leggings with olive leggings, and that's probably about all I would wear it with. Um, so I don't know if it's worth keeping for that. But I could never wear this with jeans. It is too long and it would bug me even with jeans. Jeans are the same for me with shorts. has to fall at a certain point. I did like this top with the cow neck. But I honestly, the more I think about it, I just think it's too open in the chest. And in the cooler months, that's where I need to cover up. Like, I like a good sweatshirt because it comes all the way up to your collarbone. So I like this in theory. If I decided I wanted to keep this, I would go up to a large just for my comfort. Even though I think the medium is fine, I just, I just don't know. And I probably don't have to do that, but that's my own, in my own mind. So I'm not sure about this one, if this is a good fit for me. Because I think a large might be just way too big. Let me know your thoughts. So that is Stitch Fix 69. I'll wait to hear all your comments. I have this extended out probably to way after you see this. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget the emoji. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.